Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three strong buy value stocks. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at value stocks. Now, these companies all have price to earning ratios that are well below their sector's average. Plus, they come in with overall strong buy ratings from Wall Street analysts. So we're going to take a look at these stocks, what it is that they do, and of course, how those analysts are weighing in on the stock's future. Just a reminder that the stock market is closed on Monday for Juneteenth, and a happy Father's Day to all of the dads and dad-like figures out there this weekend as well. Now, let's get right into today's strong strong buy value stocks. First up on our list today is Rio Tinto. Their stock trades under the ticker RIO, currently priced at $67 per share. They have seen growth of 7% over this past year and are pretty flat over the last six months. Their current price to earnings ratio is 8.8 .8, and that is compared to their sector average of about 13.6, so well below that. Rio Tinto is involved in the exploration, mining, and processing of mineral resources in 35 different countries. The company has been around for 150 years and now has 2,000 customers and 52,000 employees. They have four product groups including iron ore, aluminum, copper and diamonds, and energy and minerals. They produce aluminum for lightweight cars, copper to help things work more efficiently from renewables to the power in your home, iron ore for the steel in our electricity infrastructure, lithium for electric vehicles and battery storages, and many more. The company does pay a semi-annual dividend, which is currently $2.24 per share for a dividend yield of 7.3%. In their latest annual report, they did come out with consolidated sales revenue of $55.6 billion, and that was a decline year over year. Net cash generated from operating activities came in at $16.1 billion. Now, the Rio Tinto stock has not gathered a ton of attention from Wall Street as they only have three current analyst ratings, but those do all come in with a buy. The average price target comes in at $96 per share, which would be an upside potential of 42%. But if we look down below here, we can see only one analyst actually gave a price target. The rest just gave buy ratings here within the last month. Second on our list, we have MGM Resorts. Their stock trades under the ticker MGM, currently priced at $43 per share. Now their stock has seen a ton of growth this past year, currently up 56% over the last year, 20% in the last six months. But with a price to earnings ratio of 9.4, that is actually a discount of 47% to the sector average. MGM is a well-known brand that operates casino resorts. Of course, best known for some of their Las Vegas Strip locations, their portfolio encompasses 31 unique hotel and gaming destinations globally, with some of the most recognizable resort brands in the industry. MGM reported their latest quarterly results on May 1st, where they did come out with an earnings beat, and it was the first one in a few quarters. And it was an impressive beat at that. Earnings per share of $0.44 cents crushed the estimates of $0.06 cents per share. Taking a look at the details, they reported consolidated net revenue of $3.9 billion, which was an increase of 36%. They also achieved net cash flow provided by operating activities of $704 million. Their recorded adjusted property EBITDA for the Las Vegas Strip Resorts was up 41%, which was the seventh consecutive quarterly record. And the MGM stock has generated a bit more interest from Wall Street as well. They currently come in as a strong buy based on 12 analyst ratings. That is based on 9 buy ratings and 3 holds. With an average price target of $58, that would be an upside potential of 34% from current prices. And we can see we've had a few recent ratings in the last couple of weeks, all coming in with that $58 price target, so very consistent there. Looking at our older ratings, we can see some even more bullish outlooks with some pretty attractive double-digit upsides. And our third value stock today is Philips 66. Their stock trades under the ticker PSX, currently priced at $97 per share. Now they have seen some big growth early in the year, but overall are up about 4.6% and actually down just over 1% in the past six months. They have a price to earnings ratio of 3.7, which is below the sector average of over 7.1. Philips 66 is a multinational energy company. They're engaged in the processing, transportation, storage, and marketing of fuels and other related products. They operate through four different segments with refining, midstream, chemicals, and marketing. 
They have a diversified and integrated portfolio all across the United States with 72,000 miles of U.S. pipeline systems, two global facilities producing renewable fuels, 28 global manufacturing facilities, and over 7,200 branded U.S. outlets. And they also pay a quarterly dividend. At $1.05 per share, they have a current dividend yield of 4.22% and a healthy payout ratio below 20% here. Their next earnings report will be coming up on July 28th, and their most recent one on May 3rd, they came out with a solid earnings beat. For their Q1, they reported earnings per share of $4.21, which was well ahead of the analysts' expectations of $3.56. They reported first quarter earnings of $2 billion and generated $1.2 billion of operating cash flow. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy based on 10 analyst ratings. With 8 buys and 2 holds, the average price target is $121, which would be an upside potential of 24%. And we do have some recent ratings here within the last couple of weeks, all with double-digit upside potential besides one hold from a few weeks ago with an upside of 9%. So there we have 3 stocks, all with price-to-earning ratios well below their sector averages and coming in with strong buy ratings from Wall Street analysts. Let me know your thoughts on these stocks in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys, but please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just keeping you up to date with what Wall Street analysts are looking at and providing some information and entertainment. Make sure you always do your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic long weekend, and I'll see you back here next time.